Hi, I'm Fred Sokolow, and this lesson is called Blues for the Ukulele. You know, I've been teaching at a lot of ukulele camps and workshops and seminars and things, and people ask for the blues on the ukulele, and it's only natural, given the popularity of this instrument that's developed in the last several years, that people would eventually want to play the blues on it, because the blues is just a universal language. It seems to communicate to people all over the world. And it's not real complicated a lot of the times, too, so that, that's a bonus. So we're going to go through a bunch of popular blues tunes, and I can show you how to play them and back yourself up singing and play instrumentals on, on them on the ukulele. But beyond that, I'm hoping that in the process you'll pick up a lot of ideas about blues licks and just generic blues moves you can make that'll help you when you're jamming with other people playing music, which is something that uke players seem to love to do, is to strum along and pick along with other people. So we'll start by tuning up. And uh, here's the high G string. And then the third string is C. Second string E. And the first string, the high A. And now we'll get started on our first tune. Bet you're going fishing all of the time. I'm a going fishing too. Bet your life, your sweet wife, can catch more fish than you. Well, many fish bites if you got good bait. And here's a little something I would like to relate. I went down to my favorite fishing hole and I got me a pole and a line. I caught me a nine pound catfish and I brought him on home for supper time. Proven many fish bite, you got good bait. But here's a little something I would like to relate. Many fish bite, if you got good bait, I'm a going fishing. You can go fishing and the baby's going fishing too. The song Fish and Blues comes from Henry Thomas, a very unusual blues guy. He strummed the guitar and he played these pan pipes. Uh, he's real famous for, uh, they kind of sound like recorder or flute, and, and he's real famous for a song called Bulldoze Blues, which a lot of people know as going up the country. Canned Heat did it in that Woodstock movie and really copied him. They changed the words around, but musically they did it, it sounded almost exactly like Henry Thomas. So Fish and Blues, it was also popularized later on in the 60s by Taj Mahal. And what I'm doing is a kind of a combination of the two arrangements, the way Taj Mahal did it and the way Henry Thomas did it. There's elements of both in there. I think my words are a little closer to Taj than to Henry. So uh, let's start out by talking about the right hand. There's a, there's a um, little picking lick that's the signature lick of this tune and it's this one here if you watch my right hand i'm using my mostly my finger my index finger and my thumb and if you look at the left hand at the uh at the uh fretting hand it's on the g chord and i'm 
doing a lot of open string stuff here. Now back to the back to the picking hand again. A lot of times in the song I'm just doing a strum like this and sometimes just just like that. Uh, at one point when I really picked up some momentum on the song I started doing that lick that I showed you the signature lick by strumming. Because you can kind of, if you kind of aim, if you have good aim and aim for the right strings, you can do it that way as well. So, the song is in the key of G, and it's mostly just on the G chord and the C chord, which sometimes I played like this, it was really a C6, just the open strings. And there is a place where it goes to the A7. I don't think Henry Thomas used that, but Taj did. And then to the D7. Every time you go to the a seventh, you're about to go to the D seventh and then back to G. That's your famous two five one, they call it in the Nashville number system. So let's see what else happens in the tune when um, and I'm just strumming the chords while singing it. Every once in a while, my little finger goes to the third string to get this kind of a this kind of a lick. That's one thing that happens during the singing. Other than that, I'm mostly just strumming on the chords. And, and if you listen to Henry Thomas's version, you'll hear that too. He's strumming more than picking. It's a really interesting sound he has. Very unusual. Uh, um, okay, so when it comes to the solo, that's when I start doing some picking with my right hand instead of strumming. And let's, so I'll just, uh, let's see. It, there's a lot of open strings in the, catching this melody. Let's see. Oh yeah, I, at one point I jump up here to get a melody note with my little finger. And then there's a pull off on the first string. And that's about it, except for the one place where it goes, many fish bites if you got good bait, it came up here. So when you do this, you can do it with your little finger or your ring finger, you're touching the whole thing across there. That's just a higher up the neck uh, G chord. It's actually a G6. And I come down to this note here, this D note, and then back to first position. A lot of times when I'm playing individual notes and picking them out with my index finger mostly, I'll pedal on this fourth string because it, it keeps the rhythm going in a really nice way. So I'm going, many fish bites if you got good bait. So I'm using this as a kind of a filler and it works really well. That's about all I've got to say about that tune, except we're going to split the screen again so you can slow it down so you can get a real good close-up look at what's going on in Fish and Blues. Bet you're going fishing all of the time I'm a going fishing too your life, your sweet wife can catch more fish than you. Many fish bites if you got good bait. Hey, here's a little something I would like to relate. 